Hi everyone, I'm Nina Mortensen, and I wanted to share with all of you one of my recent favorite theorems, the Perron Frobenius theorem, more specifically the application for Markov chains. So if we have a stochastic matrix M that's aperiodic and irreducible over finite state space, then the Perron Frobenius theorem asserts the existence and uniqueness of a stable distribution. So there's an essentially unique um, dominant eigenvector with eigenvalue of 1, and all of its entries have the same sign. And I say essentially unique because although the convention is to scale um, uh, scale it so the entries uh, all sum up to 1, you can still scale it however you want for it to be different. Um, while all the other eigenvectors have associated eigenvalues strictly less than absolute value of 1. And however you scale it, there's going to be one, at least one entry that has a different sign from the rest. One last thing I wanted to clarify and to emphasize is that if we were just looking for an invariant distribution, then uh, we only need the matrix to be irreducible, and we don't need the Perron-Frobenius theorem. Um, it's only when we're looking for a stable distribution, which is a invariant distribution but also attracting, then we need um, uh, the aperiodic property and the theorem. And so there are an amazing amount of applications of this theorem um, in different parts of math. But what really drew me to Perron Frobenius was um, the fact that it really showed mathematics as a very cre creative subject because we can approach it from so many different perspectives. Um, so there is an algebraic proof for the theorem, and there is a geometric result as well, which is my favorite. So if we were to think about the action of um, the transition matrix on the positive orthon, it's a contraction towards the eigenvector. So by Banach's fixed point theorem, there's going to be a fixed point, the stable distribution. And there's a combinatorial and a probabilistic proof as well. So it really shows creativity and how unifying math is as a subject. So my goal with NYU's master's program is really to learn the tools and techniques to help me express my creativity with the challenging and exciting problems to come. And of course, to explore the different parts of mathematics as well. So hopefully in two years of time, I can decide on an area of interest for me to conduct research on going forward. Lastly, I wanted to share a bit more about myself. And since we're just weeks away from Thanksgiving, I wanted to share two things that I've been very thankful for in my recent life. Number one is data science. I've been very fortunate to work in data science and machine learning straight out of college, and I really saw the amazing impact applied math has had on the rest of the world um, in the recent decade, which led me back to studying pure and classical math to help me understand the theories behind the models that we use, which eventually led me to Harvard Extension School. And it's the second thing I'm very thankful for because they gave me another opportunity um, a second chance really with mathematics and formal education and it helped me realize that I really enjoy the theoretical side and I love getting lost in the abstraction of math. It also helped motivate me to um, finally make the decision on my end to pursue mathematics full time instead of having it as a hobby or interest in the background like I, I did for um, the last several years. So thank you very much for this opportunity, and I really hope to learn and work with all of you in the near future and discuss interesting problems and proofs. Um, hope to see all of you on, this, uh, on the campus for spring semester. Thank you.